crop plantation, firstly, we have to do seed bed preparation. It is involving the removal of debris, leveling, breaking up the soil, soil improvement and fertilizing. The most thing that we need before preparing seed bed is crop planning. Crop planning is a schematic diagram function as to give us or farmers the precise measurement of suitable seed bed length, wide and height for certain type of crop. Also, the plant distance and the measurement of fertilizer needed for each type of crop. Crop planning is important as we can ensure that our crop plantation is going smoothly. In making seed bed, tools that we use are hoe to dig up and breaking up the soil, glove, small shovel used while removing the debris from the soil, measuring tape used to measure the precise measurement to build seed bed, rope, and tiny woods used to point each corner of seed bed and lastly fail to fill with fertilizer and limestone. Okay. Uh, next is we have to install silver shine plastic on the seat bed. Silver shine normally used to cover standard bed before planting. Sizes and length per roll depends on usage. The benefits of using silver shine plastic is first to control moisture content in the bed, uh, to control from weed growth, and to reduce evaporation and soil erosion. Uh, lastly, we need to cover the seed bed using a black net in order to give uh, the seed bed uh, protection from harmful pests and uh, changing weather. Uh, the seed bed is uh, supported by a wooden to make it stable and able to give shape to the crop. In order to achieve the best possible return from your crop, it's important that the seed gets the best possible start. Accurately place seed at the desired depth with good seed soil contact and consistent even soil density for roots to penetrate. This sounds to me like the optimal place for the crop to begin. A finishing tool that presents these conditions to your planter will give you the best chance of achieving accuracy and productivity. Kelly disc chains will work the surface of the fields, smoothing and levelling while creating a layer of tilth covered with a protective moisture residue. Moisture is preserved near the surface and the light action of the harrow avoids hard panning or compaction. Planter accuracy is at its very best because of the smooth, consistent surface preparation. Planter productivity is enhanced because you can sow at higher speeds without the usual bouncing and variation in depth of seed placement. This preparation allows you to place the seed on a moist, firm bed with sufficient loose soil to pack around it. The growing roots don't encounter any sudden change in soil density which sends them off sideways. Instead, they keep growing down through the soil profile. Premium preparation leads to optimal seedbeds which gives you the best chance of optimal crops. I hope this has provided some food for thought. Till next time, cheers. Daily care management is important for plants to grow more better. Every day, we water the plant regularly. Based on the choice of crop planning, we should water the plant twice a day, in the morning and evening. This is because the plant need water to absorb the nutrient from the soil. Make sure your plant do not retain too much water or else it can cause leaf spot fungus, root and crown root. Next is loosening the soil. Loosening of soil allows the roots to breathe easily because loosened soil promotes growth of organisms like earthworm and microbes. We is the plant that is that is growing uh, where there is no support to grow. We didn't have to. Uh, removing the unwanted plant from the area of the ground. Uh, we can control the weed by using uh, mechanical like uh, de dealing 
holding, burning, and hand weeding, and also using a chemical like with this side. Hello, my name is Nur Aina Binti Muhammad Zubi from Group 6. Today I will talk about the putting fertilizer on our crop. We use NPK Green. NPK Green 1515 fertilizer is a chemical compound fertilizer often used by farmers in their farming. It gets a green NPK name in order to facilitate farmer that this fertilizer is suitable as an early fertilizer plant grower and vegetables. This fertilizer belongs to the, to the category chemical fertilizer. Green NPK contains balanced NPK percentage. 15 15 15 represents percentage of element contained in grain. Do not mistake 15 15 15 as a ratio. This fertilizer is very suitable for vegetative cultivation. This is in contrast to the blue NPK, NPK fertilizer that is more suitable for planting of fruit trees. For urban growers, we can use this fertilizer in our crop, especially in potted plants. Insect fertilizer based on recommended amount on purchase package, do not overreact, will cause soil media to become salty. It also will cause wilting tree or die. Stem trees will burn if the steel is placed too close to the stem. This will cause the tree to break easily and fall. It is advisable to put at least 5 cm away from plant stem. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Mushida Bentu Mustafa. Today I want to share about my experience in planting the crops. As you know that actually I don't know very detail about the crop and how to manage it. But after I enter UMK and study this course, I learn about the crop and I get many knowledge and new information about the crops. I am very highly appreciated and thankfully let uh, for my lecture, Encik Fauzi, because he is very patient for the student in giving the good learning about the crops. For, from my experience, I learned about it. Uh, I learned about the direct seedling in the crop. Direct seedling is where we put the seed straight in to prepare the soil and just wait for the result. Direct seedling has advantage and disadvantage. The advantage of direct seedling is great for varieties plant that don't like root disturbance. It can be done without any specialist equipment. And then it's so low cost. Direct seedling is uh, have advantage uh, free from root damage and, trans and transplanting shots. He has uh, less skill needed. Okay, the advantage of the direct seedling is my experience is uh, it must uh, need prepare soil at the correct temperature. And then direct seedling, uh, it has to compete with wheat to get the nutrient, sunlight, water and so on. It also have sustainable insect pests. Transplanting is the process of moving a fully germinated seedling and replanting it in a permanent location for the growing season. Transplanting is an important part of agribusiness in northern climates because it extends the flowering of food bearing season of many plants. A plant that has been recently transplanted is sometimes referred to as earth transplant. Okay. How to lessen the shock of transplanting? Firstly, water the garden plant to be dark and transpla transplanted the day before you plan to leave them. If you are planting something you receive plant, bare root, allow the roots to soak in a bucket of water for a couple of hours. Dig 
or transplant when it is overcast or during the cooler evening hours. Next, water the plant again immediately before digging or, or removing from its pot. Leave the roots exposed to sun, heat and wind. Water the hole before you place the transplant plant. Place the transplant into the hole. Fill it halfway with soil and then water again. Furthermore, lightly firm the soil around the transplant. Once again, water the whole plant and all. If possible, avoid the new transplant from direct sunlight for three to five days. Okay, what should we do after the transplanting? Firstly, check the plant daily for the first couple of weeks. Transplant may need watering every day, depending on the weather and the plant. We need to water twice a day until it becomes established. The larger the plant, the more water will be needed. Check the soil for dryness a few inches below the surface to determine if more water is needed. If the plant is rotting, water it immediately. All of this may seem extreme, but the shock of being uprooted is stressful to plant any time of the year. In the heat of summer, this extra precaution is vital to easing the transition of the transplant. For harvesting, our choice sum can start to be harvested after 30 days of transplant, which is on 17 April 2019. So we had harvest our choice sum according to the time that we had predicted. While doing the harvesting, we have to make sure that our choice sum must be pulled with the roots and put them into the basket. The amount of choice sum that we place in the basket are not too much to prevent the choice sum from scratches, broken and bruises. Then, we place the basket under shady area to prevent our choice sum from getting hydrated and weeded due to the exposure of sunlight, which may reduce the quality of our choice sum. Done with harvesting, the next step that we did is cutting the root of choice sum. We used the proper technique that had been taught to us, which is the root part of choice sum should not excessively cut. Then, we wash the choice sum. The purpose we wash them is to remove the dirt that had attached to the choice sum in order to prevent the formation of bacteria that may speed up the damage of the choice sum. The best way to wash them is by underflowing water. Before selling, we weighed the white mice net using the electronic weighing scale, which was 200 ringgit per time. Then, we wrapped it using the newspaper in order to save the cost and sold it to people in university like lecturers, students and also the hostel staff. We sold it RM1 per time only. Just for your information, if you do not know how to set the price and weight of your vegetables, you can have a look at the latest price and weight of any kinds of vegetables on the farmer website. So do as. We also set the price and weight of our white mustard based on it. In total, we got 33 ties of white mustard that is equal to 6,600 grams. So, our total sales for the first batch of white mustard were RM33. Just to remind, the white mustard can last between 10 to 14 days if maintained in a controlled temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. If you want to start the white mustard for a longer time, avoid being exposed to water or sunlight as it will cause the white mustard to wither and damage. That's all from me. Enjoy your veggie!